My, my general feeling is that among the many other things that we underestimate in our daily lives as human beings, we underestimate the incredible newness of our arrival on the scene here on planet Earth. A lot of the things that we take for granted already have just emerged in the equivalent of a few seconds in the course of a year of, of evolutionary time. I think we might often, uh, those of us who work with these issues, I, there's often a lot of language of blaming people actually for not caring enough or not knowing enough and I, and I, I, just, I think that's actually not helpful. I think that, that we're in a process, uh, the whole human race is in the process of learning how to care for a planet, of learning how to extend your own horizon so that of course you care about your own kids and maybe your neighbor's kids, but learning that you know, the, the kids that are growing up halfway around the world are equally deserving of your care. So we're being forced by the tools that we've created around um, global media and awareness and, and the science that we've created, satellites looking at the whole planet from space, more and more information. We're being forced to grow up really fast. I think we have to have a lot of humility about that. And I think we have to have a lot of compassion about that. Not everyone's going to get it. You know, I certainly don't always get it. But I wake up in the morning and I see my own kids. And, you know, so, of course, when an electric car became available, we bought an electric car. <laughs> and we made sure we were buying wind energy off the grid. Uh, and uh, we, you know, we follow all the advice that, that we've been mouthing ourselves, my wife and I, since we work in the field together, as models uh, for, for what we think needs to be the way to go and it's going to require sort of patient hurrying. We've got to do our best to also breathe and take everybody with us as, as, as stably as possible. What we've learned about over the course of a couple of hundred years of, of actually getting serious about the scientific exploration of our world is that facts matter. Uh, you know, you can't renegotiate with the laws of physics. The ice will melt anyway. Uh, and, and, and so you know, some people might be motivated out of a passionate love of the planet. Others ought to be motivated by the fact that this is an unavoidable set of hard physical facts. You turn around one day and everybody's got a smartphone. And how did that happen? Uh, but that process of getting from nobody has a smartphone to everybody has one, is the same process we have to get through on sustainable development, that hardly anybody knew what it was to everybody knows what it is and everybody's working on making the real changes. Sustainable development, 17 very clear goal statements. There it is. So um, regardless of whatever else happens over the next 14 years, we now know exactly what sustainable development means for the planet and we also are seeing people taking it very seriously and doing something with it. We teamed up with the Center for Design and Architecture here in Oslo and created a translation of the UN Sustainable Development Goals into design language and to a design brief uh, and have invited people now to commit themselves to, uh, to thinking about the SDGs as a design brief. Uh, and that's called the Oslo Manifesto and people can sign up, say what they're going to do with that uh, idea and get a lot of inspiration and resources for how to take these big ideas about sustainability and turn them into practical design solutions. Anybody who has anything to do with designing the future, uh, the Oslo Manifesto is for you. I will say that my observation is that the world is changing as fast as it can and that it's changing in ways that surprise me in terms of how fast it is changing in terms of the uptake of ideas like sustainability, human rights, gender equity, all the things that I personally think are the right way to go in terms of human evolution are in fact spreading rather rapidly when you think about the fact that we're a planet of 7.4 or whatever it is, billion people already, and, and that culture changes usually very slowly. Globalization means all these processes are accelerating. Technical ev uh, evolution is happening really fast. So whether it's the best it could be, I don't know. Is it happening as fast as we can make it happen? I would say almost. Uh, I'd love for it to happen even faster. But changing systems also experience stress and you don't want them to fall apart at the seams. Let's believe these worrying predictions about what might happen so that they won't happen. <laughs>